How's it going guys? Welcome back to Detroit Become Human episode 12 with me CXC. In this episode we're taking control of Connor and we've got to go and find Amanda. Hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. There's a new episode on Detroit Become Human every six days and there's a new video on the channel every other day. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all of the content that's going to be dropping. But either way we're going to be making our way through here. I think we might have died. We did, we died, we were in the interrogation room when we last played as Connor and we got shot. So I'm guessing that this is some kind of heaven or something, like if we failed, I don't know. But we're going to find out more. So let's listen to Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner, as if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Okay, so from the sound of it, we've got another chance. So I'm guessing there's a lot of Connor androids and they just keep putting them out there. So we're somewhat starting again with our relationship with Hank, even though we've got the same memories, I'm guessing. I don't know. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Oh, shit. I freaking machine can kill everyone in the room. Hey. Did you take a look at these samples yet? says they cut it with something. Maybe they're trying out a new form of red ice. Okay, so we've got to find the lieutenant's desk, which we've done. I don't think he's actually here just yet. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Thank you. 
to see you. Baby, listen, I can't talk right now. I'm in the office. Just looking around, getting some clues, finding a little bit out about Lieutenant Anderson. So we'll keep going. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! 
Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. Okay, so I'm trying to enhance my relationship with Hank. But I still haven't really figured out what kind of person he is. So we would now got to go and check on Hank. He's at his desk. So we're going to make our way over there and listen to what he's got to say. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering... Is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. 
That could be a good starting point for our investigation. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. Or things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. That didn't go well. But that's gonna do it for me. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to join me in six days time for episode 13 or join me not tomorrow but the next day for Assassin's Creed Valhalla episode 37. Thank you for watching.